What's up, everybody? I'm getting ready to do the Mike Jenkins Memorial Workout. Mike Jenkins was a professional strongman who competed uh, for many years in America's Strongest Man, the Arnold Classic, and World's Strongest Man. Unfortunately, Mike Jenkins died on November 28, 2013, of a heart attack at age 31. Now, I never got to meet Mike personally, but everyone I know who has met Mike said that he was a great guy. He was a huge inspiration to them, and he had a big impact on the strongman community. Brian Alsrew of Never Said Athletics, who's been featured on this channel, uh, was one of his really good friends. On Thanksgiving Day, November 28th, when I got a text message telling me that my buddy Mike Jenkins had died. And he made me aware of this workout. Uh, he recently posted it on his channel. <clears throat> now, I'll be honest, when I first saw this workout, I thought, there's no way. This looks <laughs> really hard. This looks brutal. I don't think I'm going to do it. But the more and more I thought about it, uh, the more I thought to myself, what a great way to not only honor Mike, but to celebrate my life, my health, and my ability to do a workout like this. A lot of times, we don't realize how much we appreciate something until it's taken from us. We don't realize everything we have to be thankful for until we have nothing left. We don't realize how much we care about someone until they're gone. If you ever get the chance, I would suggest visiting Walter Reed Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. I've been there many times, <clears throat> and I've seen hundreds of men and women who have lost their hands, feet, arms, legs, eyesight, and I'd be willing to bet that they would give just about anything to be able to do a workout like this one more time. During my time in the Marine Corps, I served, I had the honor of serving as a pallbearer at Arlington National Cemetery, where I would lay to rest, perform funerals uh, for fallen Marines. And during my short stay of only about one year, uh, I laid to rest nearly 200 Marines. And during every funeral, while I was carrying that fallen Marine, I would think to myself, what if that was me in that casket? What if this flag that we're folding was being presented to my family? And I would think a lot about my life, what I've done, and more importantly, what I haven't done. And unfortunately, sometimes it takes a death or a tragic accident to motivate, inspire us, and to make us aware of the things that we should be grateful for. The things, it puts into perspective the things that we take for granted. So even though I never met Mike Jenkins, performing this workout is a way of letting him know, letting his family know, letting his friends know that he is and was an inspiration to many of us. So I would encourage you to stop being lazy, stop avoiding challenge, whether that's physical challenge or challenges in your life. Because your health, your life, your fully abled body is a gift, it's a privilege, so do not neglect it. Rest in peace, Mike Jenkins, and thank you to Brian for posting this workout. Let's get to it. A few of the members have worked up the courage to join me. Matt, Andy, Gina, Rachel, Emily. <laughs> First event, 11 overhead presses, any style, strict push press jerk, any implement. Today I'm doing an axle cleaner press, 11 reps with body weight.
Next up, we got a 1,982 meter row. 1982 was the year Mike Jenkins was born. Next up is 11 dumbbell presses with half your body weight. Moving on to 28 squats with your body weight. Mike Jenkins died on November 28th, 2013. Squats are done. We're moving on to a 2013 meter run. It's about 1.25 miles. Mike Jenkins died in 2013. Here we go. 